Hey, good morning, everybody. Sarasota Tim. Thanks for joining me this morning here in the Crasher. And before we go out and uh, head to the gym and, and do some other things or some videos I'm going to bring you guys today, uh, let's wake up with a, a good thought. I read it already. It's just too important and too profound this morning uh, not to share it with you. I had uh, I grinded coffee this morning and I had the Barris coffee. I had two cups. I also found some kind of a water leak. I had that issue before underneath my bathroom sink. They're just like garden hoses, but real small that screw to things in these motorhomes, these RVs, and it's very disconcerting. You don't want a water leak. There was a puddle of water on the floor. Anyway, I'm gonna try and get to the bottom of that. But first, um, I wanna remind everybody today that um, don't watch the news, turn that off. Don't listen to, don't turn the thing off on your phone too. When you put up your Google on your phone, there's always like these stories, this list of news. That's the same thing as the media. You can turn that off so you don't read those. Because if you read them, you'll want to read another one and another one. And it just, you, you stop watching that and you start looking at your phone. And you can turn that off. Do not watch the news. Because in 2024, uh, AI is taking over uh, artificial intelligence. And I think that... <clears throat> I've been uh, reading about it and hearing about it. You can ask artificial intelligence to give you a speech, to write you a speech to be president, and it is very good. So I think that uh, the media is going to be telling uh, artificial intelligence, what do we got to do to fool these people and keep brainwashing them? And artificial intelligence is going to give them a great um, headlines to give you and things to say that are causing your mind to believe and to distract you from what you need to be focusing on. And that is waking up and have critical thinking. Think for yourself. Go back to the old days. Purge all this stuff out of your mind. Get rid of it. Don't let it get you because it will. It will absolutely get you. I mean, if I told you something that I saw your wife with somebody today, you would probably laugh it off. But if 10 people that day told you they saw your wife with some guy, you would start to question it. So if you keep listening to that and reading these things on your phone, you're going to be converted to one of them. So I don't try to, I'm not trying to make such a, like a, a conspiracy thing out of it. But look, it is lies. It is deceit. It is causing division and hatefulness uh, for people. And they believe it. They gulp it down. They're, they're just, they believe this this side, that side. Get rid of it. Don't, don't go with it. Respect your fellow human being. If, like I said before in many of my videos, if you saw somebody out there that you consider to be a left or a white or a black or a white or a brown or a red, and you saw them laying on the road and they were hurt, they fell off their bike or they got in a car wreck, you'd be the first one to try to help. That's our natural, benevolent, uh, instinctive way as a human being, as a creature of, of caring. Be that way. Don't let them make you uh, not be the way you are in, in eight to be. Be your kind self today. Purge all that out. Be kind. Smile. Lift somebody's spirits today. Lift somebody that you normally you think you would never talk to. You know, go out beyond your boundaries and, and talk to somebody that, you know, you may have a, a, an opinion against or a racial divide or whatever. Go beyond that. Look at them as a creation of God like you are. Look at them like, hey, I put my pants on one leg at a time. Maybe I got a nicer car. Maybe I live in a bigger house. But don't look down on people. Those that are exalt themselves will be humbled. And if you humble yourself, you'll be exalted. So plant good seed today. Be kind. Don't be mean. Don't be nasty. All right, look. This is what it says today. One month from one month ago today was my birthday, the 29th of December, and it's the 29th of January. Welcome to Monday, everybody. This was this was so profound. I, I just had to share it with you. Keep your focus on me. I have gifted you with amazing freedom, including the ability to choose the focal point of your mind. 
Only the crown of my creation has such remarkable capability. This is a sign of being made in my image. Let the goal of this day be to bring every thought captive to me. Whenever your mind wanders, lasso those thoughts and bring them into my presence. In my radiant light, anxious thoughts shrink and shrivel away. Judgmental thoughts are unmasked as you bask in my unconditional love. Confused ideas are untangled while you rest in the simplicity of my peace. I will guard you and keep you in constant peace as you focus your mind on me. Now, come on. Who doesn't want that? Who doesn't want to keep your focus on him uh, and let him lasso those thoughts in his presence? And <coughs> every step of the way today, just, and believe me, if you start doing it, you can expect the moment you walk out your door, some negative thing's going to come and hit you. Some evil spirit, some, some crazy thing is going to come right into your face. And that's when you've got to be a true test of character. That's when you've got to say, I got this. This is a test. And recognize it. Don't be so uh, ignorant to the fact that you didn't hear that now. I read it to you. So now you know. Uh, you don't have to be you know, ignorant to the fact that this is a test. Now you're like, oh, I see. This is just a test. And it's going to make character Build character in me, and I'm going to see how it can go away by bringing it all to him. Bring, it, bring everything to him. Just give it to him. Dump it on him. He can take anything. You are weak without God. You can, uh, you can do nothing. You can't take your next breath. Folks, not to be too preachy, you just got to get, we got to save our country. We got to turn from these ways that the media and everybody keeps trying to tell us, ah, this is a new way. This is 2024. That's old stuff. And and those religious guys on TV, they're all charlatans. They just want your money. That's it. That was created by man uh, to, to usurp guilt, uh, usurp values from people. And while it may be used as a tool, an evil tool, that's what the politicians and the governments and other people are doing to do it. But... The true word isn't nothing but truth, and the truth will make you free. So, folks, get out there today. Make sure you're kind, everybody. Do a good job. Be happy. Look at things in your house and ask yourself, do I use you? If not, get rid of it. Get you some self-esteem. Get you a chair. Do some squats. Get down on the ground. Do some push-ups. Do some inclined push-ups if it's uh, too tough to do the military ones. Get you some self-esteem going. Know you did something for yourself. Know that you spoke with God. And know that you were kind to some fellow man today. And you crushed it.